In the Canary Islands during summer, humid trade winds blow from northeast across the archipelago, pushing air masses against the mountain ranges. There, they condense and form a magnificent sea of clouds. The second highest island, La Palma, is covered by large forests of canary and pine. The long needles of these incredible trees capture water droplets from the clouds. The condensation then drops to the ground and is absorbed by the soil. This is the major water source for vegetation in summer. It also helps recharge groundwater reservoirs and is therefore essential for local human communities. But how will the sea of clouds be affected by climate change? Will it expand since warmer air can hold more water? Or will it shrink if the trajectory of the trade winds changes? In order to anticipate the future of these processes, we need to know how they evolved in the past. We studied canary and pine forests below, within and above the sea of clouds. Tree rings are excellent recorders of past environmental change. They provide insights into time periods before instrumental measurements existed. We collected 700 wood cores from pine trees along a 2,000 metre altitudinal gradient. We also sampled needles and other tree tissues, soil and atmospheric water vapour. Back at the Swiss Federal Research Institute, WSL, we use several complementary approaches. We measure ring widths to reveal information about the past growing conditions of the trees. We date each ring to the calendar year. By measuring the oxygen isotopes in tree rings, we gain insight into the origin of the water that the trees use to build their cells. We also measure the oxygen isotopes in the water extracted from the tree tissues, soil water and atmospheric water vapour. This will help us track the isotope signal as it propagates from the atmosphere through the soil and the tree and ultimately into the tree ring. By combining these data we hope to determine when and where the sea of clouds has been forming during the past centuries. Our research will contribute to models predicting future climate changes which may affect not only the forests of the archipelago, but also its human population.